Hello there guys, welcome to Mad Dog Minis. In this video, I'm going to be having a look at the new Mark VI Space Marines out of the Big Horus Heresy box set that came out recently. I bought mine separately from a secondary seller on eBay for quite a good price. Um, first impressions are good, lots of crisp detail, definite step change from the earlier kits like the Mark III and the Mark IV Horus Heresy kits. So as you'd expect, times have moved on. Uh, the quality has definitely increased and uh, lots more detail and uh, just a nicer, nicer kind of finer, uh, you know, like weapons and things like that. The sword is much finer. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. So I'm just going to put one of these together uh, as it's supposed to go. The instructions were very kindly photocopied for me by the uh, seller. So I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, but having said that, all the numbers are quite kind of logical. So you can find your way without the instructions. Don't really like the way the arms go together. I prefer the the uh, weapon grip hand to be attached to the arm and to have that kind of cupped shape so the bolter slots down into it. I know that's old fashioned and I realise why they do it this new way because it looks more realistic but don't like it. Too many mistakes can happen on that um, for me because I'm not that good at putting these guys together. Um, and uh, I do have uh, some other kind of gripes. I do not like this shoulder pad thing, this stupid half shoulder pad thing for the uh, molecular bonding stud shoulder pads. I just don't like it at all. Um, completely unnecessary in my view. I uh, glue it together. Now, granted, I'm using super glue. A plastic cement might produce a, a smoother bond because it will melt it together. But, you know, I don't think you're going to get rid of this great big line down the middle too easily. And I'm not about to start fiddling around with, like, filler and green stuff. It's just... That is just not the way I roll with, with, with detail. So horrible, hideous line down the middle. And if we compare to a shoulder pad from the Intercessor kit, which is, a, a, again, simulating a Mark VI shoulder pad, um, there's different size molecular bonding studs. OK, so I prefer the larger size on the newer one. However, you know, there's no reason why they couldn't have done this. Look at that. Nice and smooth. No stupid line down the middle. No faff of putting two halves together. Why did they do this? someone tell me why because i don't get it oh i feel much better now i've got that off my chest <laughs> therapy guys therapy anyway um so the thing i'm really concerned with looking at here um is the overall size now i think some videos online that have kind of speculated on the size of these has been a bit misleading um and i hope to give you as realistic an idea as i can here like no bs in terms of the size comparison with the primary so here's the completed b key and let's put him against a Primaris Intercessor. Not this one, because that's a converted one, so that might be a different, si a different size. But uh, let's bring it up against a non-modified Intercessor, and here we go. There is quite a size differential there, and that's too much for me. I like the Primaris scale. I'm not a Primaris fanboy necessarily. I like the Firstborn. I just think, for me, it was a scale correction against 28mm soldiers, like regular infantry, like Cadians and Imperial Guardsmen. They need to be that big as Space Marines against them and this beaky marine is not coming up trumps for me in terms of the height uh, the legs are pretty good um, but the, the, you know, the legs are a good scale, but it's all squished down with the torso. There's no abdomens, that age old problem. There's no abdomen, so it's all squished and unrealistic, I think, uh, up top. Now, we compare against an older marine, you can see it's gained some height on, a, on an older multi part space marine, which is good. You know, I'm all for increasing the size, but it's just not quite enough for me. So, I definitely will be uh, primaricizing these guys because that is just the scale of space marines for me. As you can see here, the older marine looks you know, a bit dwarfed in comparison to a, an intercessor now. Um, so I'm going to definitely be doing some conversion work to bring these guys up to kind of my spec for uh, Primaris. And uh, so keep an eye out for that, guys. But uh, I just want to add my thanks uh, to all my subscribers. Um, thank you ever so much for your support. Uh, keep an eye out for a future video if you're interested on the conversion work I'm going to do for these guys. Uh, consider liking and sharing uh, with the video because it all helps the channel to grow. And um, I will catch you in a, a future video. But I hope you found this helpful. If you hopefully you're not under, under, under illusions of, of what you're going to get in terms of the size, because I've definitely Seen, seen some misleading stuff on this and you can see they're a good head shorter i know they're supposed to be in the law i get it guys i'm you know i'm not taking a crap on the law here but for me they all need to be brought up to primara size for me to feel happy with my miniatures so if you're happy with them 
I'm really, really happy for you and go ahead and go nuts. But for me, they're not big enough and they're going to get uh, uh, roided up <laughs> for me personally. So uh, thanks ever so much for watching and I will catch you in a future video. Cheers.